Hey everyone, and welcome to my review of the most powerful and best prepping Bofeng radio on the market. And it's the new Bofeng UV32. This radio is capable of 14 watts, has Bluetooth programming, and also GPS capability. I'm first going to start with the unboxing, and then I'm going to go through some details and specs. In the box you'll find a manual and it's written in English. A radio pouch and you'll see a bit later why you need it. A USB Type-C charging cradle. A USB Type-C charging adapter and it can be used to charge it through the cradle or charging the radio itself and it's 5 volts and 1 amp and a EU to US adapter Firstly, I'd like to start off by saying that this video isn't sponsored by Bofeng or AliExpress. I have bought this radio on my own and I paid full price for it, so I'm gonna give you my honest review. I will be leaving some links in the video description for the radio and the radio pouch that I'm gonna show a bit later on. And now let's have a look at the radio and the first thing you'll notice is that the charging contacts are on the bottom and that the speaker is on the back. The reason why that is, is that this radio is a copy of the Motorola APX 7000 series, which is a P25 police radio in the US. That radio costs approximately $5,000 when it's new, and this radio costs approximately $40 to $45. On the back, you have a USB Type-C charging port and a screw holding the battery, the K-Type connector on the side, and on the other side, the PTT and two function keys. And just like the original Motorola, there's no bell clip. That's why it comes with this radio pouch. Personally, I'm not a fan of it, so I'm going to show you a better option. This radio pouch costs only $7, and I'll be leaving an affiliate link to it in the video description. And I think it's way better than the one that comes with the radio. You have access to your k tap connector for a PTT, and to the two side keys, you also have the mollies on the back, so you can put it on your play carrier or your backpack. And I just think it looks way better. One more thing that I should note is that there's also a DMR version of this radio, and I'm gonna leave the link in the video description. And now, starting with the menu, the first menu option is Banks, which is the 10 programmable zones. And you can have PMR, GMRS, all of your marine channels, repeaters, satellite repeaters, SATCOM, disaster, EMS, and so on and so forth. Here you also have the Bluetooth option, so you can program it, including the zones from iOS or Android. And over here you have the GPS on or off. This radio is also completely programmable from the menu, so you can use the keypad to put in all of your channels and repeaters. To access the GPS, you need to press P1, and once you acquire your position, if you press the PTT, it will send your location to another buffing radio that's capable of receiving it. 
and it works the other way around so other radios can send you their location so when you go to p1 and press up you'll be able to see their coordinates pressing p2 will show you a compass and this is used to show you the location of other radios so once someone sends you the location you'll see a dot so you'll know which direction you need to head to This radio is also capable of copying other radio's frequencies. So, for example, if there's someone that has a pair of FRS radios or toy radios or both things, you can use it to copy the transmitting frequency and the CTCSS code. This radio can also receive FM radio and also has all of the NOAA channels. I think this is a great radio for search and rescue, security, or also for a SHTF scenario. And that's because it's capable of receiving airband, so you can listen to planes, helicopters, the military airband, military helicopters, fire department, and all sorts of other fun frequencies. Now, some people will argue that you don't need more than 5 watts on radio and that the antenna is the most important thing for range. And although I agree with that, I do think that the extra almost 9 watts are very important compared to a 5 watt radio and I'm going to explain why. Let's say that you're stuck at sea and you have a 5 watt radio that's capable of doing 100 miles. If you have the same radio, same antenna, but 14 watts, according to the inverse square law, the radio will be capable of doing approximately 164 miles. So that's an extra 64 miles of range compared to the 5 watt radio. You can also just put this radio to medium power and it will do 5 watts and it won't drain the battery. It's better to have 14 watts and not need them than need them and not have them. And now we're going to measure the antenna, see what the SWR is. And I'm going to use my Nano VNA. And it seems that the antenna is resonant at 139. And at 140, it has an SWR of 1.2. At 145, it's 1.5 SWR. And at 156, which is the marine band, it has an SWR of 1.8. At 435, it has an SWR of 1.7. On PMR 446, it has a SWR of 1.9. And at 466, it has 2.2 SWR. The antenna also seems to be really good. It is truly dual band and an SWR under 2 is completely usable. And that was it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave a like, drop a comment and I'll see you in the next video.